I've been looking for you. No, no, I, I, I've got money. It's yours if you let me go. What? Yes, money. Here. 60 caps. That's, that's all I've got. We're good, right? Got any more on you? What? No. I, I told you. That, that was all I had. F-633, initiate reset. Authorization code Delta-62 Arcus. That's all of them. Objective complete. Rushed work is sloppy at best, and dead... Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? You've got technology here that I never dreamed possible. It's amazing. I'm glad you can appreciate what we've accomplished. None of it has been easy. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be... dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. What do you mean by proper supervision? I mean that while they are here in the Institute, fulfilling the purpose for which they were designed, our synths perform admirably. As you're about to see, however, they can become unpredictable when set loose. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. Who erased his memories? And why? Those idealistic radicals who call themselves the Railroad are behind it. We'll deal with them in time. But right now, the priority is to reclaim that synth before more harm is done. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives. I was hoping for a challenge. Yes, I'll keep hoping.
You must be the courser I'm supposed to meet. Yes, sir. Designation X688. I've already neutralized the perimeter guard. Just give the word, and we can start the assault on the main flotilla. So long as he doesn't start eyeing me up for reclamation, it'd probably be good to have another gun on our side. All right, let's go. Right behind you, sir. Should have given up.
Hold up a moment, sir. There's something important I need to tell you. What is it? I'm going to give you B-592's reset code. If he hears the code phrase, it'll reset his cognitive processes and make him docile. You'll need to say, B-592, initialize factory reset, followed by the authorization code, Gamma-71 Epsilon. Once he's shut down, I can transport him safely back to the Institute. Good. I'd like to avoid any unnecessary violence. Precisely. Shouldn't have to bloody any more noses than we have to. Well, he might not be alone up there. Violence might be inevitable. That's all, sir. Ready when you are. Nice. By your gear, I'm gonna guess you two are agents Just of the like me. So, I made it to the town. Is the Institute so desperate for resources that it's stealing plunder from honest, hard-working Commonwealth gangs? B-592, initialize factory reset. Authorization Gamma-71 Epsilon. What? You okay? Gabriel, can you hear me? Shit, they did something cool. Take them out! Hell yeah!
Claim sent to B-594. Inside, you got, uh... I found some ammo over here. Any chance you got a second now? You all right, Nick? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing, but, uh... Well, I know I can trust you at this point. For as long as I can remember, I've been getting these, uh, Flashes. Memories of places I've never been. Things I've never seen. Memories of Nick's. They're not bad, they're just, uh, they're just this inescapable reminder. But I'm not the person I think I am, but I'm not a person at all. I'm just a machine, pretending to be human. You think, you feel, you're more than pretending, Nick. Yeah, nice of you to say, but your kind don't usually have to deal with someone else's whole life trapped inside their skulls. Don't get me wrong. I know I'm in Nick's debt. These memories, they've kept me alive. Nick was a hell of a cop. A guy with good instincts and a good heart. I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con. Or whatever type might volunteer to let folks tinker with their gray matter. But it's thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City and every other synth is shot on sight. I know I got it good, but my entire life I owe to Nick. Everything that makes me who I am. My judgment, my speech, hell, even my name. They're his, and I can't do a damn thing about it, because without them, without them I'm nothing. I'm a shell. All I want is a life where I have something I can call my own. We could give you a new name. Would that help? Ah, I got it. Crumble Bible. Three thousand. <laughs> well, I suppose it's the thought that counts. You know, I... I'm just gonna need some time to think on this. I appreciate you hearing me out. You're... You're a real good friend. Thanks. You know, there is this chunk of Nick Valentine history I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. What kind of history are we talking here? Well, this one's straight out of the archives. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived the king of organized crime, Eddie Winter. He was a bad man. He did a lot of bad things hurt a lot of innocent people, but he knew the end was coming, so he sealed himself inside a personal shelter, located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. Eddie Winter was from my time. A real scumbag. The story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death, live forever. So he can come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? Only Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation experiment. You don't mean to tell me he used that radiation to... That's right. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul. 
200 years before it was fashionable. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Safe and sound. Ready to come out and begin his evil reign all over again. I'm gonna find him and kill him. So that never happened. You in? All right, Nick. Let's get the bad guy. You're a good man. Now, I know where Winter's vault is. The door is sealed with a complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes, incriminating different criminal associates. On each one, he hit a single number. We find all of those holotapes, we get all the numbers. We get all the numbers, we get the code. And then we get Winter. I've been putting together a file on this one for a while now. There's a pair of holotapes in here worth listening to. Uh, including one of Winter. Managed to snatch from Cambridge Police Evidence Lockup before getting swarmed by ferals. My gut tells me the Boston Police Evidence Terminals are the key to cracking this one. Probably worth paying a visit to any of the departments you might have stumbled across. I'm glad to see you return safely. I know the task was difficult, but I needed you to see firsthand how dangerous a rogue synth can be. Why do you care what happens on the surface? You're in your own world down here. Because there are forces on the surface that could pose a threat to us, and only a fool ignores a possible threat. We might diminish that danger by correcting the false perception that we intend some great harm to mankind. But enough about that. The task is done. And you've returned our synth safely to us. I couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. Uh, well done. While you were away, I had quarters prepared for you. You'll find all the basic necessities, as well as a generous stock of arms and equipment. Go and have a look. I think you'll be quite pleased. It's an honor to have you here, sir. If you're looking for my mom or dad, they're probably still working. Don't make excuses. You're clearly defective, and I intend to report this. Perhaps after you disassemble. Your quarters are just inside, sir. To make something that's actually useful. When you're finished here, sir, father wants to see you. 
Hey there. What is it? Good to see you. Ah. Hello, Father. Tell me, what would you do when someone has stolen from you? That's a loaded question. What's been stolen from you? Institute property is not often taken from us. We cannot react lightly when it happens. The group that calls themselves the Railroad have acquired several synths from the Institute. Synths that had gone missing in recent months. And they no doubt mean to free these synths, in their delusion that synths are somehow... sentient beings. You've been in contact with the Railroad, so you're aware of their misguided beliefs? They mean well. They're only doing what they think is right. You doubt with Libertalia. That's the result of their selfish, short-sighted plan. Usually they are a minor nuisance, but lately they have become more... emboldened. I'm afraid we've reached the point where a response is necessary. We have learned the current location of these synths, and need to reacquire them before the railroad can hide them. Where are the synths located? A small settlement at the old Bunker Hill Monument. But it's important that we act on this soon before the Railroad has any indication we've tracked them. We also don't want the Brotherhood of Steel getting wind of the presence of the Sims. That would only complicate matters. Is it just me, or will I have backup? A Corsa will be waiting for you outside Bunker Hill. You'll have support should you need it. But we want to keep this small. Hey, Synth. I've been waiting for you. So, what's our situation? I assume you've been briefed? Our targets are inside. Four Synths under railroad protection. Majority of the settlement is uninvolved and are expected to run for cover. The situation appears to have escalated. A covert approach is likely impossible. We move in, secure the Synths, and I relay out with them back to the Institute. Clear? The mission's parameters just changed. We're going shooting. Requesting backup relay now.
You mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. All right, Synth. Please! Why don't you want to go back? I... I don't know. I wanted... my own life, I guess. Z322, initiate reset. Authorization code, Gamma 49 Typhoon. Here they are. God, it's a Corsair! Oh no! Issue the reset codes and we'll relay back to the Institute. Time is critical. You there, Synth. Come on, please. Just... just don't! Why are you so afraid? I don't want to go back. Please, don't make me go back. B257, initiate reset. Authorization code Theta-93 Stratus. No sudden moves. Please, no! What's so bad about the Institute? I just... I couldn't take it anymore. Y915, initiate reset. Authorization code Beta 77 Tempest. I've been looking for you. No, no, I, I, I've got money. It's yours if you let me go. What? Yes, money. Here. 60 caps. That's... that's all I've got. We're good, right? Got any more on you? What? No! I, I told you, that, that was all I had! F-633, initiate reset. Authorization code Delta-62 Arcus. That's all of them. Objective complete. Return to the town. Make sure all hostiles have been eliminated. I will relay the synths back to the Institute. Report to Father upon your return, and... Good work.
What's that? You must That's be terminated. Come on there. Gone. Spineless human. Whoever or whatever you are, I know you are out there. You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. It wasn't always like this. It used to be different. I can only imagine. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. Kellogg called me the backup. Did he? Well, he was correct. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here 
in all this, to not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. So it was you. You let me out. Yes. It was my decision. Certainly it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you... After all this time... Attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. Sean, you need to know. I still love you. I can see that you do. It's... Well, it's remarkable. <clears throat> there are greater things to come after your success at Bunker Hill. The synths have been safely returned and will be re-purposed. Thank you for your work. I hope you weren't at too much risk. What do you mean, the synths will be repurposed? Modifications will be made to correct the defects in their programming, and they'll be assigned to new duties within the Institute. Not the first or last time it will happen. The railroad remains an annoyance, of course, but they'll be dealt with as necessary. And you, well, you've passed the test, as they say. You have done well. Please. Take this as a token of my appreciation. Our appreciation, really. It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in. <laughs>